क्या है ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन स्लॉट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फॉर सीक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर एक्स वन एक्स टू एंड सो ऑन टिल एक्स एन इफ एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री माइनस डैश 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 प्लस माइनस वन टू द पावर ऑफ एन प्लस वन टू दस एन इज इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर प्लस टू एन फॉर ऑल नेचुरल नंबर एन देन द सम ऑफ एक्स फोर्टी नाइन प्लस एक्स फोर्टी इज नाउ दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज वेरी कॉमन यू नो दिस टाइप इज वेरी कॉमन वेर देर इज अ सीक्वेंस गिवन टू यू नो यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट द सम इज एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स फोर एंड सो ऑन टिल इट इज प्लस माइनस वन टू द पावर ऑफ एन प्लस वन एक्स टू द पावर एन इज इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर प्लस टू एन मैं दिस क्वेश्चन इज रियली सिंपल द ओनली थिंग यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर इज that every alternate term has a negative sign that's the first observation you will have to make forget about this minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 for now just look at what this minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 has done every even term x2 x4 will give you a negative sign you know there is a negative sign see here there is a negative sign there is a negative sign here before every even term so if i want to calculate S forty eight. No, this is this is a sum. Let us call this as S n. So S n is x one minus x two plus x three and so on till x n. Carefully understand the difference. S n is the sum. X n is the individual element which which makes that sum. Now we are required to calculate x forty nine plus x fifty. so let us first of all calculate s 48 so x1 minus x2 plus x3 minus x4 and so on till you get minus x48 because 48 is an even term so you will get x48 which is equal to 48 square Plus two into forty-eight. Now this is nothing but forty-eight into forty-eight plus two, or forty-eight into forty-eight plus two. I can write this as forty-eight into fifty. Forty-eight into fifty. This is equation one, and I can rewrite this x one minus x two. Plus x three minus x four and so on till x forty eight. So this is forty eight into fifty. What about s forty nine? S forty nine I can write as this one this plus x forty nine because I'll again have x one minus x two plus x three. So can I write down s forty nine? That the sum of first forty-nine elements as sum of first forty-eight elements plus x forty-nine. X is the element. S is the sum. So I can write this as s forty-eight plus x forty-nine, and this must be forty-nine. I can I can rewrite this as n into n plus two into fifty-one. This is equation number two. And I already have the value of s forty eight. Let us not call this as equation number two. This is forty eight into fifty. Let's calculate those values later on. Plus x forty nine is equal to forty nine into fifty one. So x forty nine must be forty nine into fifty one minus forty eight into fifty. And how much is that equal to? Forty nine into fifty one is two five zero zero minus one. That is two four nine nine minus forty eight into fifty two four zero zero. 
So x49 basically is equal to plus 99. So we get the value of x49 from here. Now similarly, if I have to calculate S50, I can write S50 as X1 minus X2 plus X3 and so on. Last term will be minus X50. And what do you get from here? I should get 50 into 52 because N into N plus 2. So I can write, let's say this is X49 here. I can write this as S49 minus X50. So S50 can be written as X49, sorry, not X49, but sum of the first 49 terms minus X50. So you, this is equal to 50 multiplied by 52. We already have the value of S49. What is the value of S49? This 49 into 51. So we have 49 into 51 minus x50 is equal to 50 into 52. So you can further solve this x50 is 49 into 51 minus 50 into 52. This is 2499 minus this is 2600. So x50 is basically minus 101 that gives you the value of x49 plus x50 as 99 minus 101 as minus 2.